Hello everyone. Today we explain the real-time video transmission. The pictures collected by the camera can be transmitted to other places in real time for display images or handing over to an upper computer for machine vision processing. The software functions of this tutorial are based on the libraries of OpenCV, NumPy, ZeroMQ, and Base64. Before writing code, you need to install these libraries. A PC and a Raspberry Pi with a camera are used in this tutorial because this can introduce the installation method of related libraries on the Windows platform and the Linux platform at the same time. OpenCV is a computer vision library of open source. In Linux system, you can enter this command in the terminal and in Windows system, you can install by downloading .wil file of OpenCV. NumPy is the basic software package for scientific computing using Python. In Linux, type sudo pi3 install NumPy in the terminal to install NumPy. And in Windows, enter pi3 install NumPy in the command line to install. 0MQ and Base64 are respectively used for frame transmission and frame encoding and decoding in this project. In Linux, enter sudo pi3 install 0MQ pi Base64 to install. While in Windows, enter pi3 install 0MQ pi Base64 to install. After installing the relevant libraries, let's explain the program on video transmitting end. The Python program Raspberry Pi Cam.py is used to capture images from the camera. Encode the collected picture and then send it to the video receiving end. So we put Raspberry Pi Cam.py into the Raspberry Pi and run it. First, include the libraries needed. Here we need to fill in the IP address of the video receiving end. Then initialize the camera. We can change these parameters according to your needs. And here we instantiate the 0MQ object used to send the frame using the TCP communication protocol where 5555 is the port number. The port number can be customized as long as the port number of the transmitting end and receiving end are the same. Next, loop the images collected from the camera because we are using a Raspberry Pi camera use video port is true, since IM encode function needs to pass in NumPy array or scalar to encode the image. Here we convert the collected frame into NumPy array. We encode the frame into stream data and save it in the memory buffer. Here we send the stream data in the buffer to the video receiving end after base64 encoding. Finally, clear the stream in preparation for the next frame. Next, we explain the program of the receiving end. Because the libraries used here are cross-platform, PC.py can run on Windows computers or other Linux computers. First, include the libraries needed. Here, we instantiate the 0MQ object used to receive the frame. Note that the port number needs to be consistent with the transmitting end. Receive data here, decode it and save to buffer. Interpret a buffer as a one-dimensional array. Decode a one-dimensional array into image. Display image. Generally, wait key is used after I am show to leave time for image drawing. Otherwise, the window will become unresponsive and image cannot be displayed. This is a foreshadowing tutorial for the OpenCV series. Later, we will make more OpenCV-related tutorials based on this basic knowledge. Thank you for watching.